Alright guys, so here's a CAT 627F motor scraper. It's uh, in a push-pull configuration. Right now they got three of them here, so... Push-pull configuration means it has the hitch on the back, and then it has what's called the bale, which is right here, and the cushion. The cushion, just spring-loaded, basically will take the impact when one scraper comes up against the other one like this one basically this one right here will bring its bail up with its hydraulic and then it will lock on to the back of this one from right there then like the name goes push pull this one will push this one will pull and you have dual amount of power and both of them are working now the scraper is used to move a great amount of dirt in a quick amount of time. It could self-load itself, unload itself, and uh, transport the dirt. So it's like an articulated truck and a uh, excavator combined. This 627G is slightly different than the F, but they're pretty much the same. The front engine in the 627G is a CAT C15. There is also a rear engine, which is a CAT C9, but we'll get to that. So, the front tire, right here. Over here is the transmission for the scraper. Over here is the hitch leading to the bowl. The cylinder right there, and this one on the other side as well, is the steer of the machine. There is the linkage, uh, obviously that to steer the point right there. Here is the cab and uh, the steps to get up onto it. There's a steering wheel in there to steer it. It's articulated. And uh, then, I can't get in it right now, but there's the joystick to work the bowl. This part is called the bowl, and it holds all the dirt. It's uh, 22 cubic yards, with a maximum load rating of 48,000 pounds. Here are the arms for the bowl, and the cylinders to raise and lower the bowl. This is the apron. Uh, basically, when the bowl is full, they'll lower the apron and it'll just contain the dirt in it, like a tailgate. That's your cutting edge, and right there is the ejector. There's a cylinder on the back of the ejector, right there. And when the scraper is loaded and he's going to unload, basically this whole part will push out. This will open up the apron and the dirt will slide out. The scraper can spread its own load as it unloads, which is a uh, great benefit of a scraper. Back here is the controls for the back engine, which is a CAT C9. And the exhaust then everything the throttle right there right here is the push block and the guarding for when the bail comes it won't hit it so pretty much there's a 657 G right there is the F um, really that's a uh, pretty much it it's not too often that I could see a scraper um, they're building 700 homes here, so they have it. But there you go, 627G.